We are in the Roadshow Kitchen. Chef Kev D, who's always busy, busy, busy with so many great events that he's uh, that he's part of, is making a ginger-crusted wild salmon. Uh, that's what's on the menu today. Good to see you. Great to see you. Thanks for having me back. I don't know if you know this, and this could be shocking to a lot of people. I'm, I'm on the, like, I don't do seafood. But I like salmon. I do know that. Yes. About you. yes. Like you sh it was shocking. To yes. Me. <laughs> well, being in Rhode Island, the I ocean know, state. I know. A, but, uh, I know. I know. I'm uh, confident that I can make something seafood that you would like. I'm That's sure, not I'm salmon. Next time. I'm sure you can. Okay. No, I, I really do. I, I will cook salmon at home myself. So first of all, um, tell us what where you're going to make because the title is a long title and you do have a bunch of ingredients. Yeah, here. this is going to be a ginger crusted salmon, uh, baby bok choy. We got citrus reduction, and then we'll have a carrot ginger puree and some fresh radish. Um, beautiful, bright dish for spring. Okay, so when you make salmon, are you um, are you taking the just because when I when I'll make it, are you taking the, the skin off the back, or should you leave that on when you're cooking? For it? this dish, I'm taking the skin off because we're going to coat it with with crystallized ginger and cook the whole thing like that. If you want to do it on the grill, or if you want to hard sear the skin once you take the scales off, it's crispy. People love that as well. Okay, and yeah. I also like it. I like it pretty well. Done. Yes. Is, that, is that okay to cook? That's fine. I usually cook it to medium and then let it carry over, or we can always pop it in the oven for a couple minutes to just finish it off. It's all personal preference, just like steak. You like right. it rare, you like it well, whatever you like. I say medium because it's the juiciest and that's that perfect point, but well done for you is no problem. All right, so when we're looking for salmon, there's a bunch of different types. You know, there's the there's the, the wild caught, there's yes. all of these other different types. What do you think is the best one? Because even when I go to the market to get salmon for, for my wife and I, I never know like which one might be the better one for us. So it's all great. Uh, there's great farm raised out there. I personally use the Wild King, which we're using today. Right. Um, it's got a nice, really fat, oily content that you want. Yeah. That keeps it moist, it doesn't dry out. So for this, we're using a Wild King salmon. Okay, and salmon is really is so good. Uh, so good for you, and, and I can't believe myself. As we get older, our joints, yeah. everything is great oh, for us. Yes, dude, you know, it's, it's ki this kitchen just like kills me some days. All right, so we will put this uh, put this together. Give this salmon a try as well. And like we said, uh, Chef Kev is uh, is busy all the time, doing so many great events, and I'm sure he's got uh, a lot of things coming up. We'll talk to him about that. And give this salmon a try. Over to you. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. One of our favorites, Chef Kev D, is here. He's got some uh, ginger crusted wild salmon with baby bok choy on the menu today. Yeah, I see bok choy in the in the rest in the uh, the the store in the market all the time. I never think of actually cooking with bok choy. So what did you do to this? So I love good. bok choy, packed full of protein and flavor. Um, all I did was run a knife over it, and then we're just kind of um, sauteing it a little bit on medium high to get those roots nice and tender. A little yep. salt and pepper, a little butter. And that's it. We just let it cook until those roots are soft. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yep. it really does. It looks so good. Um, and then the salmon. So what are we doing with the so salmon? So we have our beautiful Wild King salmon. And this is crystallized ginger, which if anybody knows me, I love to use this in the spring. It's bright. Um, it goes great with the citrus. All we do is run a knife over it. We throw it all-purpose flour with a little salt and pepper. And what we're going to do with our salmon is we're just going to coat our salmon with that dredge, get the excess off, and go right into a hot pan. And we're building a nice crust, and we're getting that those that ginger little bits of flavor in there right. as well. So is that why you put, is that why you put the flour? Is that why you put the flour? It on makes it? a nice crust. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so if you were to grill this, you would you would probably not do the flour. You can just do crystallized ginger, a little salt and pepper. Um, but what you see is very quickly we start to build the crust, and we're going to let that sauté. Got it. Uh, I made a carrot ginger puree, which is just baby carrots chicken stock that I reduced down with one chunk of crystallized ginger, a little salt and pepper, threw it in a blender. Then let Flavorful, that go. Flavorful, again, spring. And then all we want to do for this is a couple minutes on each side. You see that crust? We're getting the bits of ginger that's picking up here. Right. And then for our, our sauce, it's just a, a super basic citrus reduction. Lemon, okay. lime, orange, butter, salt and pepper. We just uh, reduce that down until it's nice and thick. That looks good. And we're going to top everything off with that. So, Kev, how long uh, should you cook a uh, fish like this, like salmon? I was telling you before, I like, I don't like it when I, when you cut into it and it's almost like has that jelly consistency. Of course, to it. of I course. Just, you know, I can't. I, it's the only way that I will eat salmon now right. is if it's if it's slightly well done and has a good a good crust on it. So for you, I would cook three, four minutes on each side, pop it in a 350 oven for about five minutes. That will just cook it through and it'll get that nice flakiness that you're looking for. Okay. Um, for anybody who likes a medium, I do it a couple minutes on each side and I just pull it off. 
and let that hot pan continue to carry over and it will cook and we're gonna hit it with the hot sauce so that will continue to carry over like any meat or seafood when you pull it off it still continues to cook for a little while kind of go on we also let it rest yeah that bok choy looks so good Kevin. yeah it really really does all right so while you're doing this and put this together you have a bunch of events we say this all the time you're at you're uh, you're always uh, part of like these big events and and cooking and and with other big name chefs as well and i know you have a bunch coming up yeah so next week uh in nashville at analog in the hutton hotel it's called Toast Nashville. Myself, Rocco Despirito, Robert Irvine, Chef Manit, Alex Blue, who just won Hell's Kitchen, a bunch of Nashville chefs and restaurants, major brands from all over the country are going right. to be there. There's going to be music. There's going to we have celebrity chef dinners and brunches. Just an amazing weekend in Nashville next weekend. Is that fun for you to do? So like, much I mean, fun. Is it fun being with all of those folks who love cooking yes. as much as you uh, do? Many times I'm brought in as a featured chef. I just come in and cook my dish. This one in particular I'm co-producing, so right. there's a lot of work that goes into it with sponsors nice, nice. and menus and all that. So right. um, that's looking forward to that. The week after that I'm in the Ozarks with Johnny Morris who owns the Bass Pro Shops. We're doing a big charity event down there. That's fun. So much fun. And then locally, um, June 9th, Ragged Island Brewing, we have the first annual Ragged Island Music Fest with G-Love, Roots of Creation, all kinds of local bands also on that bill. I'm going to be there doing a big culinary tent. There's going to be local vendors. It's going to be a fun festival. And that's a beautiful location, too, yeah, right? Yeah, so they yes. have a beautiful Such farm. Yes. Hopefully June, it's going to be 72 yeah, no. and sunny, perfect. It's a, it's a great, it's a great, it's a great place. Yeah. All right, so um, I know that this is, this is kind of cooking along. We yeah, so we'll just pull this left. off. Yep. All we do is top it off with our sauce here a couple beautiful radishes um, from a local farm just for color and crunch microgreens you know and then our Look finished that. product that looks it beautiful looks like that that looks perfect i mean if you are looking for something good and healthy to eat that is it kevin always good to see you thanks so much for coming in today thanks for having me if you would like more information about this you can head on over to our website that is roadshow.com